My head, ugh. What's wrong with me? Mm-hmm. Well, you're looking good, girl. Why don't I remember anything? Oh, hello? Do you know what's going on? Hello? Hmm. I guess you don't know either. Well, anyway, we won't get answers just hanging around. A television brings the action right into your home. Your typical murder mystery. Everyone's a suspect, but you won't believe who did it. I think the decorations look fine as they are. Happy birthday, fool. Honestly, Betty, you should be the one congratulating me for putting up with your crap for this long. Maybe when your mom finally ungrounds you, we can throw a wild party. We both know how much you enjoy cake. Have a wonderful day and all that. Your best and probably only friend, Linda. Oh, with friends like these. Anyway, maybe I should find her and see if she's okay. Completely normal glue. Trust me. Pinky promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Eat a thousand needles if I lie. Betty. Gotcha. Nothing special. Just a hand mirror. Yep, still pretty. Just a peaceful small town street. Except for that angry mob marching towards the town hall. Just a peaceful small... Except for... Anthurium Andrianum. Huh, it's funny the things I can remember. Apart from watering it, there's not much I can do with a plant. A cute little fish with a deep, penetrating stare. Maybe it knows what's going on? Look! A clownfish! Blub, blub, blub.
Aren't we a little crabby tonight? Maybe I forgot to feed you. Anyway, are you going to help me? Blum. What's your name? Glum. You can't remember, huh? All right. From now on, I'll call you... <gasps> I know! Sushi! Nah, I'm not gonna try and shove you down the drain. You're not much of a talker, are you? Did you hear something outside? Blubby blub. If you don't have ears, then how can you hear me? Blubber da glub. How can I understand you? Huh, good question. You sure you don't know anything about that noise? Blub blub bada glub. You think that was an explosion? Dear God! What do you know about me? Glub, glub the blub. Nice try, but you're the one in a bowl, my friend. Blub, blub. Does anybody else live in this house? I mean, do you have any other pets? Cubby, blubby, blub, blub, blub. Just me and the old lady from the picture? What picture? What else can you tell me? Blub, 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 the blub. Glubby blub. Wait, you've been watching me sleep this whole time? Blub. Creepy. Do you know where I can find Linda? Glubby. Glub blub. Blubby the glub. Da da blub glub. Okay. And where did we used to spend time together? The glub the blub blub. The junkyard? Is that a bar? Anyway, I'll try to find it and see if she knows anything. Any plans for tonight? Blub. Blub the blub. Netfish and chill. What's that? Blub blub the blub. I'm going to pass on that one. Spin around! Blubby glub. I'll be back. Don't you go wandering off now. A framed memory that I can't remember. Is that me in the picture? Let's take a closer look. If that's me, then who is the other person? My mom, maybe? <clears throat> they could have passed on at any time, but they chose to stay. To bake terrific bread and people. They are the Ghost Bakers. I have better things to do than start redecorating. War documentaries. There's no accounting for taste, even my own. I think the decorations look fine as they are. A pennant of the fighting coyotes. I guess I must be a fan. Let's go coyotes, let's go. Cities and canes. I don't get it. Is it about a city full of canes or about a cane that built a city? Damn, now I want to know. My decorating services come at a price and you can't afford it. Too Betty, life's hard. It's even harder when you're stupid. Huh, I wonder what made him write that. My decorating services come at a price and you can't afford it. The neighbor's house. Why is there a telescope pointing at my room? Wait a minute. He must be a stargazer. The neighbor's house. Why is there a telescope? A telephone. The biggest revolution in bothering people since the doorbell. dead. I can't call anyone. 
It stopped at three minutes to midnight. I think the decorations look fine as they are. Ooh, yearbook. Betty Anderson. I wish I wasn't an Anderson, because I'm always the first one to be called on. Linda Valentine. Individual picture? Why can't Betty be in it too? Wait, that fool's already taken hers? John Slim. With hair like this, who needs good grades? Dr. Dixon. As a scientist, I never cared about religion. That changed the day I met Miss Anderson. If there's a devil, then there has to be a god. Carrie Ann. See, Dad? I graduated without bribing the principal. Unlike you. Rashid Patel. Mr. Patel, your yearbook quote is due Friday. Greg Moore. I'm all for writing yearbook quotes, but my sister's not feeling well. Can I leave now? Mary W. Jackson. We won't reach the stars. Give me 20 years and I'll send you all back into the moon. Bobby Lee. I swear I didn't bite the steel bar. Okay, I did, but it was asking for it. Ms. Peanut. Yearbook quote, but I literally just got here. Sandy Moore. Can we do this some other time? I think I need to go to the hospital. Joey Turner. No one makes a fool out of Joey Turner, except for Joey Turner. You turn the knob and the door opens. No way to screw it up. Time to go out and see the world. That's what I would say if the doorknob wasn't broken. The Betty Webster Dictionary of Excellence defines doorknob as a doorknob. Thanks for listening to my joke. There is no need for applause. And that, buddy, is how you combine items. Keep it in mind, would ya? I have a feeling we're gonna do this a lot. Time to go where nobody has gone before. Well, not that I remember anyway. Eliza Barrett. You say corruption like it's a bad thing. Eliza Barrett. You say corruption. Re-elect Mayor Barrett. If it ain't broke, don't swap horses. Eliza Barrett. You say corruption like it's a bad thing. Wow, thanks for that incredible smell you made me discover. Why would I even touch that? An angry mob on their way to the town hall. Things are really heating up around here. Hey guys, do you mind letting me through? That depends. This is an angry mob. Are you angry? Of course I'm angry! Really? How angry are you? Anger is not the answer. Then this isn't the place for you. Leave. It's a fire hydrant. Don't let the stale smell of canine territorial claims fool ya. There's water inside. You better have a tetanus shot ready for me if you want me to touch that. If the shears are property of the church, does that mean they're holy shears? Don't let your vote end up in a landfill. Vote Barrett. Why is this locked? Did someone try to steal the trees or something? I 
I can't reach them from here. Ragazza, come in! Someone popped my memory. You wouldn't have something to do with all this, would you? Answer me, presto! Don't waste your time with me. It's the end of the world! Run for your life, barber! No one ends the world without asking my permission first. Wait, barber? When I find the Fachia Bruta responsible for all this, they will sleep with the fishes. Haha, <laughs> that'd be an awful night's sleep. Fish snore like motorboats. Listen, I don't know if you're very brave or just very foolish, but you should be careful when talking with me, because I trim more than just beards, believe me. I'd better let my hair grow long from now on. Free wigs. An offer you can't refuse. Limited time only. Offer not valid in the state of Maine and the U.S. Virgin Islands. May not be combined with the free mustache coupon. Can't be used in the event of a bioweapon attack leading to an outbreak of a pandemic virus, transmitted via bites, or contact with bodily fluid that causes human corpses to reanimate and seek to consume living human flesh, blood, brain, or nerve tissue. That seems awfully specific. Mommy issues. An affliction far more common than one would think. I'm sorry, I only collect posters of good movies. Bella Lugosi. From vampiric nobility to a hairy monkey. How does one fall from such grace? I'm sorry, I only collect posters of good movies. Clearly, the artist wanted to express the nostalgic longing that screams deep within our hearts, reminding us of the fragile and ephemeral nature of our physical forms in this ever-accelerating modern capitalist society of ours. Or some punk just wanted to blow up a statue. What would I know? I know I've got deep pockets, but they're not that deep. A beautiful selection of ripe, tasty, and suspiciously cheap fruit. Who can stay in business with prices like these? I'd like to remind you that shoplifting is a crime. A broccoli a day keeps Betty away. Folks, meet the new and improved Cloud Light Spongy Yellow Cakes. Twonkies! Now with 200% more sugar. Trust us, we've measured. I'm pretty sure I love Twonkies as much as the next person, but that one is going to be hard to chew. Looks like a veteran. I hope we won't be needing his expertise anytime soon. Hey, in all the time I've been in charge, I've never left a case unsolved. And how long's that been? An hour? Two. Less bragging and more looking into my case. I reckon I was someone of status, like a surgeon. So better hurry up, cause lives are at stake. Sorry to interrupt, but are you the sheriff? Yes, miss. Sheriff Famous Coltrane, here to protect and serve. My name is Betty, and... Pleasure. Name's Ben. Ben's in. <laughs> Ben's in. Surgeon. Yep. See, Faco? This lady gets it. Anyway, what can I help you with? Well, with a lot, actually. Wait, how can you be so sure you're the sheriff? The first thing I remember is sitting at my desk with my uniform on and my badge in my pocket. If I'm not the sheriff, then who else would I be? So 
someone who killed the real sheriff and took his place. That would explain a lot. Very funny. Don't you have something better to do? Maybe, but this is so much more fun. Yeah. Besides, if you're the sheriff, I'm the queen of Easter Island. Easter Island doesn't have a queen. Exactly. What else can I do for you? Huh? You said you needed help with a lot of things? Oh yeah, that. Do you know the woman in this picture? Of course I do. It's you! Oh my gosh, case closed. I'm just messing with you. She's the mayor. I need to report a missing person. Who are you looking for? My best friend forever, Linda. Linda, what does she look like? I'm not even sure who I am, and you want me to describe my friend? I can't help you without a physical description. You can find your ass with both hands in your back pockets. How are you going to find this poor girl? Come to think of it, I've seen a red-headed gal by the name of Linda not too long ago. <laughs> you see, Amos? I'm already twice the sheriff you are. Did you know there is an angry mob in the streets? Now let Miss Mayor deal with that one. Mr. and Miss Mayor? <laughs> That's a weird name. Do you know how many people lost their memories? So far, everyone that's come to me tonight seems to be suffering from some kind of amnesia, but... Then it seems you've found the common denominator of the problem. <sighs> but as to why that would happen, I have no clue. Wanna know why? Because you're a big, fat fraud. Fraud? I've been working really hard... Well, not to fall asleep on the job. It's very easy to criticize. Yeah. Fun, too. <laughs> so, with all those things you've been doing... The thought of calling for help didn't occur to you? I can't. I only get static on the radio when I try to communicate with the outside. That's all you need to know. What about the things I don't need to know? Well, I found a box of 12 donuts. A bit stale, but I still ate them all. Oh, you meant about what's going on tonight. What did the evidence tell you? Something blew up not far from here, but I haven't found where yet. What kind of bomb was it? The explosive kind. You're doing great. Anyway, I should go. I've got stuff to take care of. Buying earplugs for the mayor's speech? What speech? The mayor is giving a speech at the town hall to address the situation. It should begin shortly. Well, I'd better get going then. You outdid yourself this time, Linda. If that's even your real name. How am I going to get out of here? It's a sliding door. No pulling, no pushing, just sliding. Hey, who's there? I, I need help. Uh, hello. I didn't hear you. Nice night, isn't it? Anyway, I better get going. Wait! There's no way to open this door. It must be off the rail. Push it when I say go. <sighs> what was that? You said go. You gotta be kidding me. You know what? I'm not really good at uh, these things. I think I'd rather call someone better suited for this job. Hang in there, okay? Is it just me, or is it kind of hot in here? <laughs> I, 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 I can't. I, I think I'm, I'm gonna... Linda? Crap, 
caskets. Linda needs help, but I don't trust that guy pretending to be a cop. Maybe the mayor can help her? Crap baskets! Linda needs help, but I don't trust that guy pretending to be a cop. Maybe the mayor can help her? Yeah. I really should go find some help. Who knows what could happen to her if I don't? I really should go find some help. Who knows what could- Crap baskets! Linda needs help, but I don't trust that guy pretending to be a cop. Maybe the mayor can help her? Now yeah, let's see here. Hmm, the gate's closed. Those worshippers must be up to something. Who stole our memories? It's an angry, excuse me, angrier mob. Things are really heating up now. Guys, the doors are opening. Finally, some answers. Can't be the mayor. He must be an intern. He's too old to be an intern. Wait, wait. He's grabbing something. Is that a mop? Why would the mayor be holding a mop? Fellow citizens, I am Mayor Eliza Barrett. We are currently faced with an unprecedented crisis. Our identities, and worse, our memories, were stolen from us through unknown means. I understand that this is cause for alarm, but I want you all to rest assured that there is nothing more important to me than the safety of my fellow citizens. And seeing that each and every one of you can claim back what is rightfully yours. Looks like we got nothing to worry about, right guys? Yeah, it's not like she's lying to us. Wow! I'm so proud to be part of such an understanding angry mob! It's called sarcasm, you dunderhead! Oh, she's definitely hiding something. We will take immediate action and tackle this crisis head on. Our first objective shall be to re-establish contact with the outside world. I have absolute confidence that together, we will overturn the situation and get everything back under control in less than 24 hours. Under control. Where have I heard that one before? Wait, she's right. This has Russian psyops written all over it. This makes total sense now. We're part of some wicked communist experiment. Oh no, what are we gonna do? The same thing we've always done. You're goddamn right. USA! 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 That will be all for now. That's all? We go home and wait? Your authority isn't recognized in... in... Wait, what's the name of this town again? Impeach the mayor! I don't think she's coming out again. Who are you, and what are you doing in my office? I feel it chill down my spine whenever she looks at me. Is it because she's the mayor, or my mom? I asked you a question, young lady. Mayor, Betty B. Bettyson from the Going Gray Herald. A few questions, if I may. No comment. Well, you just lost your chance to be on the cover of a magazine. Well, since you came all the way here, let me give you a headline. Security!
That's right, Fossil. Back by popular demand, it's Betty! I have already said everything I had to say. I have something important to tell you. I think we're family! I thought you said it was important. Let me see that. See? You can't deny the resemblance. I think you're my mom. You think the mere assumption that I'm your mother entitles you to break into my office? Yes? <sighs> what do you want anyway? I just want to know what's really going on. And, you know, I thought we could maybe work together. Mother and daughter on a mission kind of thing. Whether we are related or not is irrelevant. Everything that needed to be said I already addressed in my speech earlier. What more is there to know? I don't know. You tell me. What was the explosion that woke me up? Unclear. Plus, I have more concerning issues right now. More concerning than an explosion? Yes. Now, if you don't mind, I have an antenna to fix. What happened to it? The generator that powers it is broken. With the telephone lines down, fixing it is our best shot at making a distress call. Hmm, I see. Maybe I can help you with that. That will not be necessary. The sheriff and I will handle the situation. You trust the sheriff more than you trust your own daughter? He has a backlog of successful operations under his name. Well, you only have the records of your dismal academic performance. Would you like me to explain it all in detail? I'm good. I'd prefer not to cry in public. <sighs> uh, I'd better go and check on Linda, see if she wants to join me in drowning my sorrows. Are you talking about Linda, the mechanic? I guess, uh, unless there are two Lindas in town. Hmm. Perhaps you will not be as useless as I had anticipated. Thanks? Okay, listen. The generator is located near the southwest entrance of the park. I need your friend to inspect it and repair the malfunction. One thing, she's kind of unconscious and locked up in her workshop right now. Maybe you could send someone over first? Worry not. My assistant, Mr. Buckingham, has already unlocked the door and is reanimating her as we speak. But, but how did you... Did you know about Linda this whole time? No, Betty. You just told me, remember? That is just how efficient Mr. Buckingham is at his job. Now, stop wasting my time and go see your friend. I will instruct the sheriff to open the park gate. But, but, but... We are done here. Protection payments? What protection payments? The one preventing us from wasting this place. Who are you again? And who am I? Everything is so confusing. For the third time, my name is Marco De Luca, and my patience is running low, ragazza. I've lost my memory. How do I know I haven't paid already? Hmm, that's a very nice tool set you got there, ragazza. Move. Yeah, this will do. If you want it back, bring what you owe to my associate at the mansion. With juice. Wait, you can't just... Pleasure doing business with you, Miss Valentine. Hey, you. What was that in there? I'm talking to you, Mammoth. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Hey Linda, are you okay? 
Wait a second. I know that voice. Oh, fantastic. If it isn't the fool that left me hanging before. You got out, didn't you? Thanks to the mayor's lackey, not you. Anyway, who the rusty hell are you? I've been looking for you. I thought you might know what's going on. Or at least remember me. Why would I? Long story short, I'm your best friend, Betty. You and I, friends? You're joking, right? I'm not joking. I found a birthday card from you. You wrote how lucky you are to have me in your life. That doesn't sound like me. I wouldn't miss a chance to call you a fool. Ouch! How did you... Well, never mind. That's spot on. We're friends, no doubt. You got any idea what that guy wanted from you? That rhino co goon took my toolbox. Well, it could have been worse. I'm a mechanic. How am I supposed to work without my tools? Eh, you'll figure it out. In the meantime, I need your help fixing a generator. Haven't you listened to a word I said? Yes? Anyway... How'd you end up stuck in here? Well, you're not gonna believe it, but here I was, trying to figure out who I am when, all of a sudden, before I could even realize what was going on, I was surrounded by five of them. Five of what? Mariachi... ninjas? Yeah, that! Oh my god! Mariachi ninjas?! Yeah, five ninjas with guitars and sombreros. Linda... All right, all right! I was trying to find the light switch and I sneezed, hit my head, tripped, fell on my back, and somehow managed to get the door stuck. Happy now? The mayor is my mother! Can you believe that? The mayor, huh? You think you could ask her to get my tools back? And disappoint her even further with this mess? No thanks! Great, and here I thought you could be helpful. Tell you what, I'll deal with that guy, and you help me fix the generator. How does that sound? All I need to know is what I'm looking for. Can you describe it to me? Tall, dark, and handsome. Enjoys long walks on the beach, classical music, and wants to travel the world before taking over its father's multinational company. Oh yeah, it's also a box. With tools in it. Sounds like the most eligible toolbox in town. Instead of playing hero, why don't you just report it to the sheriff and see where that goes? No, it's better if I handle things on my own. All right, but be careful, okay? Oh, look at you, all worried about me. Oh, shut up. I'm already regretting this. I'd better get going. But before I go, I just have one question. Have you ever tried being nice? Yeah, once in the summer of 1942. Worst three seconds of my life. I don't know much about cars, but this is gorgeous. Where would I go with it? Linda Valentine, crack mechanic and my grumpy best friend. What are you mumbling, fool? Let's leave the chit chat for later. It's some kind of rental agreement. Do I look like a lawyer to you? Car giving you trouble? Come on over to Linda's Repair and watch her smash your troubles away. 50% discount for first time customers. Oh, so that's how an exhaust pipe works. You learn something new every day. Stockman's Cowabunga Wax. You scratch it, we hide it. All-in-one oil, from personal hygiene to cranky engines. I have no idea who this handsome fella is. Me neither, but I can feel him glaring at me whenever I stack boxes. I don't think Linda would like that. Chef Mike's I can't believe it's not paint. Shaker state number five, eau de gas oil. 